So can a resistance meter be used to trace the location of a short on a circuit board? That depends on the resistance meter. In this example, I have a circuit board that has a short between two of the traces. I need a meter that can quickly display and measure the resistance values as I move along the trace. Many meters will jump around a lot when trying to do this. To track down the short, I need a DC resistance meter that can measure accurately in the milliohm and even microohm range. The BNK Precision 2841 DC resistance meter has the range and accuracy I'm looking for. And even the medium measurement range is fast enough for this at 22 milliseconds. So let's take a look at how this works. I've already zeroed the meter, and since we're not working with any sensitive devices, I've turned LPR off to make sure we have the best accuracy. After reviewing the schematic and locating a starting point, the circuit board was prepared by removing the solder mask. I can start anywhere along the trace. Moving the test lead, we see the resistance increasing. This indicates we're moving farther away from the short. We need to try going back the other way. And now you see the resistance decreasing. What you'll notice is how smooth the measurements are and how easy it is to see the changes. The resistance is continuing to drop. I'm very close to zero ohms. So the short is around these solder joints. Looking closer, I see the short right here. Removing this piece of wire, and sure enough, the short is gone. This was obviously created for our demonstration, but you should have a good idea of how useful these meters can be. This is only one example of what these meters can be used for. They're also very useful for testing relays, switch contacts, ground bonds, conductive materials, compounds, and many other components. If you found this video useful, let us know in the comments. And to learn more about this meter, visit bkprecision.com or click the link below.